Well, brought back to life tonight, Beaumont Hospital staff is calling Michael Pruitt a miracle man. Electrocution on the job left him technically dead for 20 minutes, but he lived to tell about it. 7 Action News reporter Jen Shawns is live at Beaumont Farmington Hills. So Jen, how do doctors explain this one? Well, Carolyn, if there ever was a medical miracle, this was it. Michael Pruitt's staff here at Beaumont Hospital in Farmington Hills credits field CPR with making this incredible save possible. This all happened back in April while Pruitt was working alongside his dad on a siding job in Livonia. I remember my arms just locking up and just and then this nothing. When 20 year old Michael Pruitt's metal ladder came in contact with a live wire while working out in Livonia, his heart stopped. Like in the movies, like when they're getting electrocuted like that, like it felt just like that, just being shook like crazy. In most cases, the thousands of volts of electricity would have been lethal. You get this 20 year old, you know, lifeless body that is perfect coming into the ER and it doesn't matter what you think should happen. At that point, you're just you just are going to do everything you can. Despite a full 20 minutes without a pulse, this team of doctors and nurses refused to let Pruitt go, using electric shock to save him by bringing his heart back into a normal rhythm. You know, we got to get this kid back. We up the jewels a bit, and you could just kind of feel, you know, and see on the monitor that his heartbeat was starting to come back. Pruitt, who spent five days in the hospital recovering, feels like he's got some sort of superpower now. His doctors say he demonstrated Hulk-like strength when he first woke up, a welcome sign of life. All of a sudden, he's just, you know, pulling at his tubes, and, you know, I, we saw all his limbs moving, which was really a good sign for us. And I kept telling his mom, I'm like, trust me, this is a good sign. We're happy about this. His ER doctors, who usually don't get a chance to follow up with the people they save, recently reunited with Pruitt, who is now fully recovered and back to work. I'm just so thankful. The only scars Pruitt has from this incredible accident are some burns on his toes, and his doctors tell me that's extremely rare given the intense shock he experienced. This close call, of course, is a reminder of the importance of knowing CPR and the role that can play in the field, but also, especially for Pruitt, it's a reminder of the importance of being safe when you're working around live wires, and he says that's something he's always going to take with him. Live in Farmington Hills tonight, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News. Wow, some important lessons learned. Life is so precious, and uh, he has has more apparently to do here on Earth. What an incredible story, Jen. Thank you for the live report there.